Hi everyone, welcome back to the EXGJS video tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn that how we can use the filter inside the EXGJS. So uh, you will see here the three columns, but after applying the filter, then you will able to see the fourth uh, row also here. All right. So so first of all, uh, these are the points that we are going to cover. So first of all, we will learn what is the filter, then local filter, remote filter, and the list number and the string kind of filter that we are uh, used, we can use inside it. All right. So first question is that what is the filter? So when you just want to filter your data uh, upon any specific keyword, any category or any list or any number, then uh, we can say that the data is filtered data is the uh, short here. All right. So now let's start with the code. So first of all, uh, you have to decide that uh, on which column you want to apply the filter. All right. So let's say I want to apply the filter on the name. So here you can see that the name. So for that, I'm just going to uh, write, start the writing code here. So for that, we have a property name filter. And inside here, we can apply the filter kind. So uh, it can be the number, string, or uh, list. So remote filter will I'll just show you after that. All right, because it's uh, actually depend on the server side. So I want to show you after the everything. All right. So let's say I just want to put the filter type string. So I can just write here type and. Uh, I can just put here string. String means we can search any kind of data uh, on a simple typing, or you can say that the mouse up or a uh, uh, sorry key up or key down. All right. So okay. So uh, one more property that that we have to add, which is the plugins. So plugins fill uh, in the plugins property. We have to put the value of grid filter filters and now let's check so I'm just going to click over here and after that you maybe see here a filter all right so sometime it will take just a time to load so we can wait for a while because uh, sometimes the CSS is not properly loaded all right So now you can see that we are able to see the filter here. So let's see if I just want to put here some data. So it's just directly filter here, right? So if this is not available, then it will tell that there's no data here, right? So this is the filter type. So let's say I, I just want to put a, a list type so that I can just copy a name so that I can show you the result. Okay, so on the list type, just write here type list and we have to provide some options inside that. So let's say we have options like uh, array is first is the linen gran, then second can be like uh, Peter and third can be Bruce and let's check on the uh, screen browser. So when I just want to check here, then you can see that there is a list of filters. Uh, so if I just put on the boost, then it will show the blank data. So just reload it. Sometime it will take, it will not showing the data properly. Just even you seen here. So all right, yeah. Now it's showing better. So if I just uh, click on the first is the linen, then you can see that it's showing the option. But when I just put on the Peter. Then because there is a no result as in pizza, so it's showing the blank. All right, so I can check the both. If I check the both, then it will apply show the result for both. All right, so this is a list. Uh, and if I just I want to part put here numbers, then you can see that. Uh, all right, so let's check with the number also. So now it will uh, tell you that the uh, the option is only available in the, for the numbers. Okay, a number less than greater than and all, but we don't have any number for here. So 
it will it will give the zero result all right fine so now at the last uh, what is that the remote filter and where we have to apply it so the remote filter will tell you that uh, when you just um, I want to just put a string for you for a moment when I'm searching something then it will show and uh, and the filter the result only on the local local level not on the server level all right so if I just write here okay ABC then you can see that there is a no API is hitting over there all right but in case if I just apply the remote filter then it will get the data from the server side all right so let's see how it's working so for that I have to go inside the store my store name is extra API all right so I just go here and I want to put a property which the name is a uh, remote filter um, so it's an basically remote filter should be true uh, let me check the spell all right so now uh, I'm just going to try and search then you will see uh, the result will going something differently now you can see that on uh, every case the a result is uh, uh, it's hit is on, going on the server end all right so this is the remote and sometimes it's a very useful when you want to send the data so let's see what data is going on over it so these are the some parameters which is the page number and the limits so these are the optional you can remove it also but uh, it's also useful when you are just getting the data from the server because that time you must need the pagination and these are the filter which is the operator like value zero and property none all right so operator will be uh, means that uh, uh, it will be just search like uh, exact word or something else so its operator is like and value is a and property is the name all right so this is all about the search in the next video we will learn about the pagination so thanks guys if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box so thanks guys thanks for watching this video